Okay, just a few other things you need to watch out for. If you're using a, a bar or a pipe, or I know some people have these anti backing gates and crushes, just make sure that the animal is not resting their rump on top of it. As you can see in this case, the bar is high enough up that it's not affecting the weight. It's still reading at 700 kilos, so that's okay. If that bar was lower down, the animal could be very much sitting up on top of it, taking weight off the platform and therefore affecting the weight. So just be careful when you're using a, a, a bar or a pipe or an anti-backing gate if they're not resting some of their weight on top of it. Another thing to watch for is uh, it's probably best not to stall the animal in the sculling gate at the, top, at the top of the crush. In this case, the animal is standing still and it's not resisting or pulling backwards. If you have an instance where an animal is pulling backwards, they're going to exert more weight on the platform. And again, they're going to affect the weight that's being raised. So the best way to have the animal is freestanding, uh, not stall in the sculling gate or not sitting on, a, on any kind of a rope there. Okay? In some instances you'll have more than one animal in the crush, which is absolutely fine. It's just important to make sure that the second animal behind isn't affecting the weight in any way, so that they're not standing up in the crush or they don't have their head underneath the other animal's rump in any way, affecting the weight. 